so excited. I have just got my new Carl Gray Archangels Oracle deck and you can see all my Carl Gray videos or my collection of Carl Gray. I have got a video, I'll put the link in the description box. I've got all of them on there except his one of them. So let's have a look. I haven't even opened this yet. So let's rip that plastic off and have a look. It's sparkly. I think this is a sunny deck that I noticed that it's sparkly. So it's beautiful. It's like, would you say, oh, fire engine orange? So let's have a look. It is done by Hay House. It says the Archangels, a divine legion of angels who have been charged to serve, protect, heal, and guide humanity to wholeness. This 22 card deck creates a bridge between the realms that you can tap into your Archangel's powerful supportive force and they can help you live with purpose, experience healing and ultimately step into the most authentic version of yourself. Carl Gray is a spiritual teacher, the best-selling author of eight books and the co-creator of eight Oracle card decks. Jennifer Hawkard is a multidisciplinary illustrator known for her colourful and high textured images i think actually from memory she's done three of his decks and of course i've got them all so i have i can't show you them all but look in the video that i've got link in the description box the reason why i can't show you is because i'm renovating have i still got plastic on this no okay let's open oh i had to open it a little bit okay let's have a look I feel like, you know, I just feel really excited about this deck. Divine Archangels, thank you for drawing close with your wisdom and light. I welcome your strength, guidance and protection in all forms. And so it is. Let's leave it there. Should I leave it that way? No, probably not. I probably should put him up there. Okay, what have we got here? We've got the booklet. It's a lot thinner than his other decks. So we will look through the booklet before we look through the cards. The 22 Archangels Oracle Guidebook by Carl Gray. Oh, here's all his book cards here. So he's got his books, Raise Your Vibration, which is very good. Divine Masters, Ancient Wisdom, very good. Angel Numbers, Connecting with the Angels Made Easy. Light Warrior, Wings of Forgiveness, Angels Whisper in My Ear. Now that Angels Whisper in My Ear, that book there is one of the best reads. It actually spoke about if you're an empath or if you're a medium, if you're a psychic, you will relate to that book a lot. The Oracle decks, the Divine Masters Oracle, Raise Your Vibration Oracle. I love that deck. Gateway of the Light Activation Oracle. That's the, the Oracle deck that I was trying to think of. I've done the video of all of them except that one. The Angel Guide Oracle, Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards, Keepers of the Light, Angel Prayers. Now, I've seen Hay House, if you're in Australia, they're selling them quite cheap. So if you haven't got any of those, have a look. They're, I think, even $10. Meditations available on the Empower You Unlimited Audio app. Hmm, interesting. Start your day with the angels, winding down with the angels, Archangel Emerald. Healing, meditation, tuning into the universe, activating your high vibration and more. And yes, you can become a member of his tribe. Well, he doesn't even call it a tribe group anymore. It used to be an angel tribe, but it's not that anymore. So how to use your oracle cards, bonding with your cards, creating a mega deck, how the cards work, conducting angel readings, a selection of spreads. So we've got the introduction. We've got the introduction. How to use bonding with your cards. Now, I love reading the prayer here so there is a divine golden thread of light coming from the heart of heaven through me through my heart and into this card deck this thread is a bridge of light between heaven and earth and the angels and me archangels of light messengers of god thank you for blessing me with your presence and for kissing these cards with your infinite light thank you for forging a clear and concise connection between heaven and earth through me and through these cards, I set the clear intention that this deck will only be used for good and for the highest good of all that come into connection with. Thank you for being here with me so that we can develop our connection and relationship together in the presence of the great Mother Earth below and the great Father in the sky. I say all of this in grace and so it is. 
so you can sit with the cards creating a mega deck so he's obviously telling you you combine it with one of his other decks conducting angel readings shuffling cards jumping cards he's a big one about talking about that reverse cards reading for yourself future guidance reading for another person selection of spreads this strength heart and challenge spread he he does teach in his course in his membership course nine card spread and have fun and then we've got the yes thank you love it when they have the picture they've got the name of it they've got a quote of it and they've got your message Ooh. so we've got them all in here so let's see how we look at the cards let's have a checky here we go. Oh, may the light that was created and created here today be for the be and toward the highest good of all. Love it. So I don't know whether that's going to stay there. So let's have a look. So far, so good. High gloss, nice and thick, just the way I like them. No gilding, another one. I'm a great fan of no gilding. I think it's good for the environment. And let's have a look. So we've got amethyst here, metamorphosis. Isn't she beautiful? Got the rainbow here circling her. Archangel Ariel, look with the lion. She's a beauty. Azrael, fiery. Shamuel, she's on the cover. She's graced the cover. I really want to know how they choose the cover and why. I, I, you know, it, it's interesting to know, or, or does the author or the artist pick it or the publisher, you know. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Charity. You know, people often talk about having different variations in colours, and male and female, but I really have to say it's good to see ages too. Oh, isn't he a spunk? Daniel. Divine discernment. Oh, beautiful colours. Faith. Gabriel. I'm going to give them a shuffle and we're going to read the book with one of the cards. Haniel. Oh, hope you're divine. Look at that. It's like a lotus surrounding you. Jeremel. This is very um, geometric, isn't it? Joe Feel. This does remind me of another card in the deck here, the shimmering effect. Oh, he's, oh, wow. I must say, oh, he's much better looking <laughs> than in Cole's other deck. Michael, wow, look at that strike. Look at that, the sword coming through with the light. Orion, wow, beautiful. Same colour system as the other Orion card. I wish I could show you guys, but definitely look at my link be below with um, all of Kyle's decks there. I've gone through all of them. Raguel, beautiful. I must say, absolutely i'm i'm really vibing with this artistry so much more i know a lot of people say oh, i hate it when they look real i love it i'm sorry i love it Raphael, beautiful you know they, they're so both different though you know in artistry but complimenting raziel oh, sandalfin beautiful building the bridge wow Seraphiel. She looks almost, wouldn't you say, UFO? Come off the UFO, a light gateway. Uriel. And Sad Kiel. So let me come back in a minute. Let me give a big shuffle. Let's read a card from the book and see what the message is. Now, I know a lot of people... I just want to um, talk about the shuffling because the deck is so thin and there's only two, 22 cards. Normally there's four, pardon me, there's 44 cards or normally, you know, with a tarot card deck, you've got the 22 majors and the 56 minors. So you're getting up there with the deck. 
I found it actually quite difficult to shuffle a smaller deck, which is unusual. So let's have a look here. Haniel embraced by love. So let's have a look at the message and see what the guidebook has to bring us. Can you see? The guidebook's really easy to use. It's in alphabetical order. So I just wanted to mention that sometimes some guidebooks, I know one of Cole's guidebooks, I think it's the Angels and Ancestors one. Oh, it drives me to no end. <laughs> Craziness, that one, especially when I'm live giving readings. Okay, Haniel embraced by love. Let love reach where it has never reached before. Haniel, grace of God, is a divine feminine angel associated with the moon and lunar cycles. Often seen as part goddess, part angel, she brings a soft, cooling energy to anything that feels fiery and harsh. Because of her connection to the moon, she helps us tap into our emotions and can even support us in developing our intuition and psychic abilities. She helps us hold space for self-respect and self-care and therefore to generate self-love. Beautiful message. Your message, you're allowed to be emotional, you're allowed to feel. Your angels are here holding you in a sacred and safe space so you can come to terms with any emotional overwhelm you have been feeling. It's not a failure to feel this way. It's not a failure to have to take a step back. It's an opportunity. Right now, angels are helping you move into self-forgiveness. You wouldn't know what you know now if you haven't encountered the challenges you have surmounted. So don't keep carrying this weight. You know you can do better now and you are committed to doing so. When this card comes to you, your guidance is to let love in. Let yourself be loved. Let yourself be supported. Let yourself be held. Let yourself be guided. Drop any shields or barricades and open up fully and freely, especially to the people you know love you unconditionally. Let the love of your heart begin to reach the places and the people you have never let love reach before. Let it reach yourself. What are you judging and putting pressure on yourself? Be willing to let the light of your heart reach deep into the wound so that it can initiate healing and renewal. You are held by the love of angels. Let it in. That's a beautiful message for me and I really needed to hear that and I hope that whoever's listening to this recording hears that also so i'm going to be using these live if this video has popped up before the live you won't be able to see it obviously but i will put the link to the replay so i hope that you enjoy this deck let me know what you think about it i think it's beautiful you know i really do i think it's if you're looking at angels and learning about angels and wanting to know more about angels i really feel that it's a lovely deck it's not too big i fell when i first started you know looking at angels i felt so overwhelmed um and judging myself because people would just they knew everything and and uh, there's just so many to learn so many angels and i think this is a really nice starting deck so enjoy everybody let me know if you've got this deck and what you think of it i'd really love to know until next time